Hi everyone, my name is Laura. I'm currently um, in my 4A term of mathematical studies here at Waterloo. Dan, um, would you like to int introduce yourself? Sure, thank you, Laura. Hi, my name is Dan Waltzik, as said. I'm the Director of Math Studies and a lecturer in the Faculty of Mathematics. Okay, that's awesome. So let's jump into the questions here. So um, firstly, can you describe what mathematical studies is all about? Sure. Uh, our mathematical studies plan is our standard honors mathematics plan. That is, if you were to do a math uh, degree at any other university, that would be essentially equivalent to our mathematical studies plan. So it is a very flexible uh, plan that really lets students pick the courses that they want to take for their degree. Uh, unlike many of our specialized plans, applied math or statistics, et cetera, uh, where you're really sort of much more restricted in the courses that you have to take. We also have a business specialization in the math studies plan uh, for those students who want to do some math business, but do not like our other math business plans. Okay, that's great. And what do you wish students would know about math studies before choosing it as their major? All right, that's a great question. So I think because of the flexibility of the plan, the most important thing to know about it is that course planning is extremely important in math studies, especially in your first couple of years. If you take the wrong selection of courses in your first couple of years, you just might not have the prerequisites to take those third and fourth year courses that you want. So it is really important to make sure that you've planned ahead and are taking the courses that will lead you to the courses you want to take in the future. On the flip side, really good course planning can actually uh, not only open up a lot of doors for you, but can make it really easy to obtain minors in other departments of math or even other faculties. Uh, so again, I think it is so important to uh, do good course planning in math studies. I highly recommend anyone interested in math studies or even in math studies to talk to an academic advisor regularly to make sure that they're on track to, to be able to take the courses that they want. Okay, great. And um, after graduation, what type of careers would someone in math studies typically pursue? Ah, one of the most common questions we ever get. Uh, I always go to the Ontario University Fair and the most common question I get is, what can I do with a math degree? And I always basically give the same answer. You can do whatever you want. So um, in all of our math programs, students don't always go on to do uh, something even related to math. One of the key things about mathematics is that we're teaching you not just math, but we're teaching problem solving skills and analytical thinking. So who doesn't want to hire someone with good problem solving skills and good analytic thinking skills? Uh, and also, as I already said, this plan is essentially the same as the degree you would get at any other university, math degree. So uh, you can do basically, yeah, whatever you want with this degree. Uh, that being said, I do think math studies is um, has some specific things that it's particularly good at. Uh, again, we have our business specialization. So for students who want to combine those analytic thinking skills and problem solving skills with good business knowledge, the business specialization is a great option. Students who want a lot of flexibility in their courses. So one career that I often see students uh, interested in is teaching. So in teaching, you don't need to be an expert at statistics or an expert at applied math. You want a really good base uh, to help students move in the direction that they want. So I think the math studies program is really good for people who are going on into teaching or just uh, going on to any field where you need a really good broad base of knowledge. But I think one of the maybe the keys I think for the math studies program of what you can do is this idea of whatever you want is that I think most students when they're entering university or even upon graduation are not sure what they want to do. So if you want to do statistics or actuarial science, okay, you go and do those specializations. Uh, but if you're not sure what you want to do, then the math studies is a great option because it gives you this flexibility to uh, take different courses, 
find out what uh, the different branches of mathematics are about so that you can help decide what you want to do after graduation. So I think it being our most flexible plan gives you the most options by selecting uh, the right courses for the direction that you want to go. Yeah, that's great. And you've already highlighted some of the advantages, but maybe did you want to go into some more detail about what are the specific advantages of the math studies program? So one of the things I always uh, think of is uh, not too many years ago, um, the faculty in, um, created a data science plan. Uh, which is a combination of computer science and statistics. And until we created that plan, students who wanted to do data science would do some combination of computer science and statistics, computer science degree and statistics minor or vice versa. But in our ever-changing world, there are so many careers that are coming out that require these diverse combinations, a mixture of courses that we don't necessarily have plans for yet. And this is where I think the math studies flexibility comes in. So if you have some identified career that requires a combination of business courses and applied math and statistics and computer science, you can make the math studies program that to prepare you for that career. So I really think it's, it's flexibility is, is its key advantage. And I also, as I already said, I think one of the other big advantages is for those students who aren't sure where they want to go in their career. Uh, so this flexibility of picking different branches to start directing yourself in one direction or another, or just keeping it flexible. And the program is still rigorous enough that you can get into graduate schools uh, if you so desire upon graduation. So it really leaves all of your door open Again, as I said earlier, though, I want to stress this course planning part, uh, as long as you do pick your courses carefully. So flexibility, it is flexible. It is, it is your pick your degree plan. All right. And actually, I think I, on that note, I think I want to flip this around a little bit. Uh, you being a, a math studies student, uh, I want to hear your opinions of math studies. Uh, what have you liked about it? Why did you pick math studies? Sure. Thank you for asking. So um, I think you've already highlighted a lot of the advantages for me about the math studies program, which are, I really enjoy the flexibility of it. I like that um, it's kind of a very customizable degree. Um, so I'm actually doing two minors right now, a minor in economics and a minor in pure math. So I like that it gave me the opportunity to both do a minor in the math faculty and outside of the math faculty. Um, and I feel like I was able to customize my degree like very much so to what I wanted to and take the courses that I really enjoyed um, so I would say that that has definitely been like my favorite part of math studies and the reason why I have picked it as my major okay well thank you Dan for answering all my questions today about math studies and for students who had any other questions about math studies you can check out the math website um, at the University of Waterloo Right, and let me actually jump in there. Uh, of course, you also can talk to an academic advisor as I've already recommended, or you can just email me. My email address is dstwolcz at uwaterloo.ca. Great, and thank you everyone for watching today. Um, and we look forward to seeing you on campus and hearing from you. Thank you, bye everybody.